the hidden horrors delving into the shadows of Slavic mythical creature. Welcome to a journey into the shadows of Slavic mythical creatures where darkness and terror reign supreme. For centuries, the forests, lakes, and homes of Eastern Europe have been home to creatures that lurk in the shadows, waiting for their next victim. These creatures are not just figments of imagination, but have been an integral part of Slavic culture, and their tales have been passed down from generation to generation. In this video, we will explore the hidden horrors of Slavic mythology and take a closer look at some of the most fearsome creatures that have haunted our imagination for centuries. Prepare yourself for a journey filled with mystery, terror, and wonder as we take you on a journey into the depths of this world. Let's begin. Number 1. Zmi. The Zmi is a mythical creature from Slavic folklore, which is often depicted as a dragon-like serpent with wings, four legs, and a long tail. It is one of the most popular creatures in Slavic mythology and is found in the folktales of many Slavic countries, including Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. The word Zmi is derived from the Slavic word Zmaya, which means snake. Zmi is usually depicted as a cunning and powerful creature, capable of controlling the elements and able to fly. In many Slavic folktales, Zmi is portrayed as a protector of the people and is revered as a wise and benevolent creature. However, in other stories, Zmi is a malevolent being who terrorizes villages and demands tribute in the form of livestock or young maidens. In some versions of the legend, Zmi is said to have the power to breathe fire and control the weather. The tales of Zmi have been passed down for generations in Slavic folklore and are an important part of the cultural heritage of the region. They are often used to teach moral lessons, and many of the stories feature brave heroes who must use their wits and strength to defeat the fearsome creature. Nowadays, the creature is often depicted in art, literature, and even on national emblems. Its popularity has also spread beyond Slavic culture and the image of the winged serpent has become a popular motif in fantasy and science fiction genres. Baba Yaga Baba Yaga is a figure from Slavic mythology, specifically associated with witchcraft and magic. She is commonly depicted as an old, wrinkled woman with a hooked nose and wild hair. She is known for living in a hut on chicken legs, which can move around at her command. According to legend, Baba Yaga would fly around on a mortar and pestle using her magic to cause chaos and destruction. She was feared by many and believed to be able to control the elements, summon spirits, and curse those who crossed her. Despite her fearsome reputation, Baba Yaga could also be helpful to those who treated her with respect. In some versions of the myth, she would assist those who needed her help, offering magical solutions to their problems. However, she would often require a task or a favor in return. Baba Yaga was also believed to be able to predict the future. She was often consulted by those seeking answers to their problems or guidance in their lives. It was believed that she could see through lies and deceit and that she would reward honesty and humility. Baba Yaga remains an important figure in Slavic folklore. She serves as a reminder of the power of magic and the importance of treating all creatures with respect, even those who are feared or misunderstood. Kikimora Kikimora is a figure from Slavic mythology, specifically associated with household spirits. They are believed to be mischievous creatures that inhabit homes and assist with household chores. Kikimora is commonly depicted as a small, hunched-over creature with long hair and sharp teeth. According to legend, Kikimora would live in the corners of the home, especially in the kitchen and the pantry. They would help with tasks such as cooking and cleaning, but would also cause mischief if they were not respected. For example, they might hide things or make noise to disturb the occupants of the house. It was believed that Kikimora could be appeased with offerings of food and drink or by treating them with kindness and respect. Kikimoro was also believed to be able to predict the future. If a person wanted to know their fate, they could ask Kikimora for a sign. For example, if they left a plate of food out for Kikimora and found it empty the next day, it was believed to be a sign of good fortune. 
In some versions of the myth, Kikimura could also be dangerous. They were believed to be able to cause nightmares or even harm to humans if they were not respected or appeased. It was also believed that they could possess a person, causing them to behave erratically or even violently. Kikimura serves as a reminder of the importance of respecting the spirits that inhabit our homes and the natural world around us in today's world. Despite their mischievous nature, Kikimura is also a symbol of the importance of hospitality and the value of a well-kept home. Rusalka Rusalka is a figure from Slavic mythology, specifically associated with the folklore of water spirits. They are believed to be the spirits of women who died by drowning or of unbaptized children. Rusalka is commonly depicted as a beautiful but dangerous creature with long hair and a pale complexion. According to legend, Rusalka would lure men into the water with her beauty and then drown them. They were also believed to cause floods and damage crops to protect themselves from Rusalka. People would perform various rituals, such as not bathing in bodies of water during certain times of the year or leaving offerings of bread and salt. In some versions of the myth, Rusalka could also be appeased by music and dance. It was believed that if a group of villagers performed a specific dance called the Korovod, Rusalka would join in and dance with them, bringing good luck to the village. In contemporary times, the significance of Rusalka lies primarily in its cultural and historical importance. It also plays a role in modern popular culture, appearing in literature, art, and even video games. In addition to its cultural importance, Rusalka also has ecological significance. They are often associated with water conservation and protection, and their stories and legends can serve as a reminder of the importance of preserving our natural resources and protecting the environment. Morena, the Goddess of Death Morena is a goddess of death that originated in Slavic mythology. She is known by various names across different Slavic cultures, such as Marzena, Morana, and Marina. Marina is often depicted as a dark and ominous figure, symbolizing the end of life and the onset of winter. According to legend, Morena would appear at the end of winter to bring death and decay to the land. She was believed to be responsible for the withering of crops and the death of animals. It was also believed that she would visit homes to take the souls of those who were destined to die that year. Despite her fearsome reputation, Morena was also revered as a powerful goddess who presided over the cycles of life and death. Her followers would often celebrate her with rituals and offerings, hoping to appease her and avoid her wrath. In some Slavic cultures, she was also associated with rebirth and regeneration, as her arrival heralded the coming of spring and the renewal of life. Today, Morena remains an important figure in Slavic mythology and is often depicted in art and literature as a reminder of the inevitability of death and the power of the natural world. As the moon casts its enigmatic light upon the ancient world of myths and gods, we are left with a lingering sense of wonder and mystery. Thanks for joining us on this epic journey through the secrets of the world. Help us let the myths and legends continue to spark our creativity by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Until then, keep the spirit of the divine alive.